Scorpio, what's good with you? Time to go ahead and bust out your little October 2020 reading. I know I'm a little bit later than uh, normal on getting out the, uh, the rest of these readings, but it's all good. The show must go on. Took a little trip out of town and all that good stuff. I'm sure you don't mind, do you? Anyway, information for scheduling personal readings is in the description of the video, okay? Uh, that also includes one-on-one -on -one video calls, okay? If you're interested in any of that good stuff, law of attraction, coaching, all that stuff is in the description of the video, all right? Anyway, though, enough babbling. Let's get right into it. What do we got for Scorpio Universe? Scorpio. Scorpio. October 2020. Ooh. So far, the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups have both showed their faces here. So I, I am feeling like there's definitely some communication coming in here. More than likely new for a lot of you. So we will be reading past and new person here. So let's just see. What do we got here? Oh, there we go. Six of Pentacles. Okay. All right. There's many different avenues that I could take with that right there. Okay. Not 100% sure what to say about just that jumper right off the bat, but it is a good reference point. Let's see how it plays into the rest of the reading. Six shuffles. One. Two. Three. Three more. dealing with somebody who's at a distance from you could be a Sagittarius okay I also have Libra Aquarius could be anybody though y'all also have Pisces here all right uh, and here's the king of cups showing his face here at the bottom of the deck so there's definitely somebody I feel like I don't really feel like it's you okay I think it's the person you're dealing with uh, whoever this is you're dealing with I feel like feels a very strong sense of unfinished business here okay but here's the problem though for whatever reason, this person is very heavily guarded, okay? Very heavily guarded. And I don't really think you are. This right here, the Justice card and the Six of Pentacles, indicates to me that I think you have a pretty level head on your shoulders right here, okay? Um, maybe you didn't in the past. I'm not saying that you're uh, little Mr. or Ms. Perfect, you know? But uh, right now, in regards to this situation, um, where you're at with it and where you're going with it. I think you got a pretty level head on your shoulders, okay? It's gotten to the point now where I think you really, maybe you've been trying to figure this out and do your little thing that you like to do where you like to be all deep and mystical and pretend that, you know, you're play dumb and act like you don't really know what's going on while you're playing detective and maybe you got all that out of the, out of the way and um, now it's to the point where you're just kind of cool with it. Okay, well, I can't really figure out every little thing here, and I'm cool with that, you know? But this person you're dealing with here, man, they feel unfinished business very, very heavily. Very heavily, okay? Um, they're doing the best they can to get over this, but there's still something that, they, they still feel very unsettled here, very unsettled. And with this Knight of Cups energy here, I do feel like there is gonna be communication, okay? There is gonna be communication and an attempt to fix this, Boy, with this type of energy right here between the two of you. But I don't really think, again, I don't really feel like this is mutual. This right here is the person you're dealing with. And the reason I say that is because this is you. This is you. That's not Nine of Wands energy. This is very matter of fact, very, look, it is what it is, you know, type of energy. And, um, man, yeah, meeting you with this type of energy right here is definitely not something that I would... Uh, Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend carrying that energy into a, an attempted reconciliation or any type of, even if it's not attempted reconciliation, maybe it's just, okay, well, I want to apologize just to get the weight off my chest. I want to clear the air just to, to feel the weight lifted off of me, you know? Even at that, I still wouldn't bring that Nine of Wands energy to the table. I wouldn't do it personally, but... We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's look at the person you are dealing with. And we are looking at the past person first. 
okay? Those of you not dealing with or interested in a past person, we will read the new person here in just a minute, okay? This message isn't for you, just hold your horses. Past person Scorpio is dealing with universe. Past person, people, uh, Scorpio is interested in or dealing with or connecting with a past person. Four more shuffles here, four more. Two more. Last one, last one, one more. One more. Queen of Swords reversed, see? Mm. The Magician, Eight of Wands again. This could definitely be somebody at a distance from you, but even if it's not at a distance, okay? There's several different meanings to this card, and there's one in particular meaning that, that I've kind of, not really added myself, but just tossed into the energy mix, okay? This is also a card of communication, fast, swift movement. However, this is one of the cards of distance. So. Here's what I always say. It doesn't matter if this person uh, lives three states away or three houses away. There's still like this big wall between the two of you. This big impenetrable wall, like emotional, psychological, could be distance because it doesn't really matter, okay? If you hop in a plane right now and fly a thousand miles away from a person that you are very, very heavily connected to, right? That distance doesn't mean shit, right? However, you could be sitting in the same room with somebody <clears throat> and put that wall up, you may as well be a thousand miles away. See what I'm saying? That make any sense? Take that how it resonates. Um, but with this Eight of Swords energy right here and the Knight of Wands, I do think that they will be back around to, again, it's hard to say if it's going to be an attempted reconciliation or an apology or what it is that they want, but uh, I don't really know if they have changed much. They haven't changed much, okay, um, with this Eight of Swords right here, okay? I look at this as the card of ignoring, not only is it the card of ignoring facts, okay, but it's the card of ignoring inner work that needs to be done, okay? Inner work that needs to be done. Every last one of us, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care who you are. You, me, every last one of us, we all have inner work that needs to be addressed at some point in time or another. Okay, and I get it. It's not a fun thing to do. Dude, I'm never going to be one of those people that, that makes it sound easy. Oh, hell no, it's not easy. Inner work is very scary, very nerve-wracking, and very uncomfortable. But if you just completely ignore it and shut it out and, and deny it altogether, well, then you find yourself in quite a conundrum, don't you? Especially if you want to clear the air or wrap up a karmic cycle or, you know what I'm saying, or detach from something. Okay, well, the first thing that we have to do is change what's in here. And I don't think this person's done that. They do have the nine of wands reversed in this in this particular spread right here. Okay, but you still have the king of wands and the nine of wands next to it. So it's kind of it's kind of iffy uh, the type of energy that they're going to bring to the table. Okay, I do think that uh, it's like one wrong move, one wrong word, queen of swords in the reverse in the overall energy right here, uh, and that that guard will go right back up and that ball attention will be you know what i mean so uh i just really don't think that they have with this five of swords energy here i don't really think that they have the best of intentions i don't really think that they do okay and even if they think they do that's not really the energy that would manifest into a successful scenario so yeah well we'll see the outcome here in a minute but for now, we're going to look at new person Scorpio's dealing with. This is for Scorpio's interested in or dealing with a new person and a new person only. Okay. Two more shows. And last one. Whoa, a bunch of them just jumped out. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, there's that Page of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Ah, 
Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reversed, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so I'm seeing that this person right here, um, and I, I've been seeing this pop up a lot here lately, okay? This person right here uh, is very reluctant to open up, okay? I feel like this person is on the inside, regardless of what they reveal to you, regardless of how they appear to come across, I feel like this person right here is the needy type, the emotional, um, I don't wanna keep calling it emotional codependence because that, depending on how you use that word, it can have positive or negative connotations to it, uh, but uh, definitely the, the empty, lonely, I'm lonely, you know? And I think this person has been hurt very, very badly and has a, a, a big fear of abandonment. Okay, a big fear of abandonment. Could be a Taurus here. Um, but I feel like if somebody doesn't open up here, I feel like one, the other, or both of you is going to move on from this right here. Okay, there's just too much fear here. Page of Swords. I don't really see a whole lot of cups except for the Nine of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles. So this is very superficial in nature. Okay, very superficial. Like, yeah, I want the relationship and I'm too afraid to open up. I want the nice house, the, the kids, the, I want it to look pretty. I want it to look good, you know, superficially on the surface. All the cool stuff that we want, you know, we want the, the house and the kids and the, the morning routine and the car and the jobs. And we, I want it to look pretty. I want the idea, you know, the way it looks like on the movies and shit. But I'm too afraid to open up, okay, because I'm afraid of abandonment. So, oh, let me throw a couple of advice cards in this one right here. What's the advice here? What should Scorpio do? Ooh, there's that death reverse popping out there. Okay, the judgment reverse. Don't be so quick to judge things right here. All right, yeah. Judgment reverse. Don't be so quick to judge. All right, Scorpio. I love you all to death, man. But one, me as an Aquarius, one thing that we typically don't really see eye to eye with is sometimes you all have this thing that y'all like to do where you will try to convince people that they feel a certain way, that they don't feel, okay? And hey, we all have our shortcomings. I'm an Aquarius dude, man, we got all kinds of, all right? I'm just pointing out one because if you, if you can back off of that, uh, you can help yourself in this situation, okay? Don't judge how this person feels and why, okay? Most of us, when we come together with somebody new, I've never met anybody that doesn't have a past behind them. I personally never have. I never have, okay? So don't be so quick to judge what this person is going through, okay? Don't be so quick to judge what they're going through. Um, don't stick your head in the sand and ignore the uh, like red flags and stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. But we need to find a balance here. What is a real red flag? And am I looking, am I purposely looking and digging until I find something about this person that reminds me of the last person that hurt me? That's a big difference there. A big difference there. If a red flag just pops up, that's one thing. But if I'm searching and looking and, and you know, trying to find a red flag, eventually the universe is going to give me one. Eventually. Eventually, I have no choice. The universe has no choice but to keep sending me evidence that supports what I believe. And if I believe I'm going to find a red flag in you, I'm going to find one. That's a big difference, okay? So, don't be so quick to judge things, all right? I, oh, I tell many of the signs here, okay? I know that there's several people watching this who have watched lots of my other videos. You've heard me say, hold a space so that this person feels comfortable opening up, okay? That we've lost sight of that part of the responsibility. Now, this isn't just to Scorpio. This is to whoever's watching. Scorpios, cross watchers, Virgos, Aquarius, Sagittarius. I don't care who you are, okay? It's very important. It's very important to keep in mind that you have a responsibility, okay? If you want an honest, open relationship, your responsibility is to hold a space where this person feels comfortable opening up. Too many times what I see happening, what I see happening is this person right here <clears throat> provides a very uncomfortable, rough, rocky, nerve wracking, judgmental space for this person right here. And they're like, man, I'm not opening up to you. 
you're a fucking bitch, dude. I'm not opening up to you. I'm not telling you what I really got going on inside. I'm not, I'm not, you know, putting my heart on my sleeve. Damn, dude, listen to you. You're a mean ass fucking, you know what I mean? Like, so just be sure that you hold a space. Now, how long should you have to hold that space? Who knows? That, then that right there is all subjective and idiosyncratic. But up until, you know, you actually need to make a judgment as to where, whether or not this is going to go anywhere, hold a space. Hold a space so that the person that you're dealing with feels comfortable opening up and being honest. And they see, okay, well, this person's not going to judge me and they are going to accept me for who I am. All right? Now, again, that's not just for Scorpio. That's for whoever, okay? I know at least one person needed to hear that. Oh, I know. And they're probably mad as hell at me right now because I called them out. I don't care. It happens all the time. Stand in line with the people who are pissed off at me. So, anyway, let's look at the outcomes resting in the current moment, all right? Outcomes resting in the current moment, which is always subject to change. Do, 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 do. There will be an overall advice for all Scorpios. And then the outcome with the past person, then the outcome with the new person. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, the world card, dude. Yeah, man. New cycle time. Be prepared. It's going to get a little bit freaky, a little bit weird, a little bit uncomfortable. You just got to ride that wave. You got to ride that wave. Don't sink. Okay? Four shuffles. One. Two. Three. And four. here don't isolate and drive yourself crazy all right do the best you can the best you can to get out and keep yourself occupied as much as possible okay i get it um, not everybody is in a position to be able to get out right now i understand that but do the best you can to get your ass out and keep yourself occupied all right keep your mind going keep your mind stimulated all right don't just sit around and and run the risk of going stagnant and driving yourself nuts, all right? And that's all Scorpios. Outcome with the past person. I think it's going to uh, be a big old fight, all right? <clears throat> Again, I think you are very level-headed about this, Scorpio. I don't really think that you're at a point to where you're, you know what I'm saying, like letting your emotions take over. I think you're, you got a very clean level head on your shoulders, and it is what it is. You've released yourself from this. You're not waiting around to see if this is ever gonna get any better. You already know it's not. So, if this person hits you up, dude, I know, no, it is what it is. You aren't twisting me around. You ain't playing your little game this time and shang a a bing bang it's gonna pop off. Who is shooty doing, and Louie? It's gonna pop off. Boy, I'ma tell you what. Uh, the outcome with the new person here. Uh, I <sighs> Ten of Pentacles again, okay? Like I said, I think that a lot of you will choose to stay patient. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Could choose to stay patient and hold a bit of a space, but I don't really know how quick this is gonna take off, okay? I don't really know, because again, communication is a little bit poor here. You know, you know that, that, that when you feel that, okay, you got a lot more going on than what I hear coming out. You know, but, okay, most of us do. How many of us don't? Every last one of us, you come together with somebody new, the vast majority of us, even the most outspoken people on this planet, still are radiating frequencies that don't fall out of their mouth, all right? So I think most of you are gonna choose to stay patient and balanced and hold a space here, okay? And uh, again, this has potential. It's just gonna take a little bit for these pinnacles to turn into cups. Okay, it happens, man. It happens. It happens. It looks like it looks pretty good, though. All right, Most, but hey, I'm gonna tell you what. You're one choice away, one decision away from stick <coughs> tanking, right? All righty. Now it's time for the meat and taters of the reading. Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. Those of you new to my channel, the coolest thing about this particular spread right here. It's not just directed at the sign that I'm reading for, okay? 
I'm not saying Scorpios don't listen to this, but this is for everybody. I don't care who you are. I don't care why you're watching this video. There is no exception to that. If you are a human being and you are watching this video right now, you can take something from this, okay? This is for everybody that needs to hear it. Things to watch out for and spiritual and life advice moving forward. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what just flipped out here? Oh, oh, hang on. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, there we go. What did I just say? What did I just say? The judgment reversed. Don't be so quick to judge why something happens. Dude, okay. I, I tell this to my personal clients sometime here, okay? I'm going to tell you, this is a little analogy that I came up with that think about this and run this, just suck on this piece of thought candy for a little bit, all right? Don't be so quick to judge why things happen. Here's an analogy. Let's say, for example, I have a day job out in North Las Vegas and I have a morning routine, all right? Part of my morning routine is stopping in every single morning at this coffee shop in North Las Vegas, which is not a very nice end of town. And uh, I just had my Frappuccino. Man, I just, I'm, I know it's kind of a sketchy end of town, right? But man, I'm friends with the cashier and they, dude, they got the best caramel macchiatos or whatever, you know? So anyway, one day I'm sitting outside having my caramel macchiato or whatever. And this dude comes up and sticks a gun up to my head and robs me. Dude, freaks me out. Oh my God, I can't be hanging out at that end of town anymore. Oh man, I'm I'm just scarred. I'm devastated, you know, scared the hell out of me. Stuck a gun up to my face, just took all my money, right? So I change up my morning routine. Now I start hanging out at the Starbucks here in Henderson, right? Every morning before I make my commute to North Las Vegas. Well, one day there's this dude sitting there and we get to talking. And one thing leads to another. We team up with this really cool idea. Fast forward five years later, we team up, become business partners. We're both multimillionaires. Now, most people would look back at that incident where you were robbed and say, oh, this bad thing happened to me. I'm emotionally scarred. I'm, I have PTSD and like I'm a victim of this thing that happened to me. But those of us with eyes to see who are really awakened and understand the inner workings of this universe and how we really function on the other side will say, that was my friend. I see now, that was my homie. That was my buddy, that was one of my soulmates. He was just bumping me off onto a new path. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be a millionaire today. Don't be so quick to judge why something happens. Always hold a space. Always hold a space, okay? I know at least one person needed to hear that. Let's get five shuffles here. One, two, three, two more shuffles. All right, chariot in the reverse. <clears throat> Watch out for people, whether you know this person or you are this person, okay, who, who do not know how to trust the universe, all right? Sounds kind of trendy and cliche, but dude, you have no idea how powerful it is to take your hands off the wheel. If you ever want to know, people come to me all the time and say, I'm about to move to the next state. Is that the right thing to do? I'm about to take this new job. Am I on the right path? I'm gonna tell you what right now, if you ever wanna know, and you don't wanna to come to a tarot card reader or anything like that, because I'm not here for your money, I'm here to help you. If you ever wanna know whether or not it's the right decision, try it, try it, try it. If the door gets slammed shut in your face and you find yourself having to force it and fight it, the universe is saying no, 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 no. But if the door opens and you're able to glide right through, that is part of the plan. The universe is not going to let you do something that you're not supposed to be doing. Okay? Period. Period. That, now, does that mean that the, the experience on the other side of that door is going to be positive and rainbows and unicorn farts? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. It could be your next lesson, your next soul lesson, your next challenge. But if you're able to do it, it's part of the plan. Trust the universe has something 
big plan for you, okay? Remember, the coffee shop, okay? Um, watch out for people who can't identify an opportunity, okay? See, that's the thing. When it comes to the path and manifestation and creating a newer, um, better life, you have to understand that you're not gonna be able to use your old ways to create new things, okay? You're gonna have to learn to mingle with people that you wouldn't normally mingle with. You're gonna have to learn to think like people that you maybe don't like quite so much, right? Think about it. You're gonna to have to step outside of your comfort zone and you're gonna to have to learn to accept opportunities and offers from out of left field, from weird places that you normally wouldn't, you know, normally wouldn't like accept an offer or an opportunity from. And there's so many people out there. Dude, the universe is open up doorways left and right. Dude, here, here, do this. And they just walk right past it. And then they go up to a closed locked door and kick it down and then complain about their life. Come on now. Come on now, dude, come on now. The universe is yelling at you all day, every day. Walk through the open doors, leave the closed doors alone, okay? Leave them alone. Anywho, I feel like the messages my Scorpios needed to hear have come through. I greatly appreciate everybody for tuning in and playing along. Remember, if you would like information on scheduling personal readings, uh, video calls, Law of Attraction advice, all that good stuff. All that's in the description of the video, okay? I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now, though, all right? I'll see y'all sometime between now and the rest of all eternity, all right? Y'all have a good one.